Hello friends, this is part four of my series on refurbishing this wonderful Steinway upright piano Model K from 1917. In this video I'm going to put together uh, an action cradle as it's called or what I would think of as a frame to hold the action. The action comes out as a unit with these four nuts taken off and the rest of it sits in these four pedestals. It's got four feet. The, the problem this has as far as taking it out and working on it is that it doesn't have a rear foot so this won't stand on its own although it's a perfectly good design within the inside of the piano. So I'm going to take some measurements, the distances between these connection points and the vertical length up and down and build an action cradle or action frame out of some 2 by 4s I'll just measure these center to center 20 and a half inches, assuming the tops are the same. So that all makes sense. That gives me the dimensions for my frame, except that I need the top to the bottom distance, which is just under one foot. So let's say a frame that's uh, using two by fours and just a little bit more than a foot tall would uh, meet the need. So I think our next project is going to be to uh, make the frame. So after taking my measurements, uh, I ended up with a 55 inch long 2x4, doing 12 and a quarter inch long ends, which I'm going to nail on about like that. That'll allow me to hang the piano action frame uh, at these points. I marked these by putting the 2x4 directly on the piano frame just to uh, make sure I had them right. My measurements show that they vary a little bit from one to the other. They aren't a uniform neat spacing so uh, I figured it was best to just kind of mark them directly which turned out to be practical to do. So I plan to drill holes to hold the screws at each of these points. Uh, as well as nail on the ends and that gives me what's more or less equivalent to the piano frame except that the workbench itself will hold the front four legs. Lucy's pretty excited about my final result here. Here it is sitting on the floor. I'm going to take out these four nuts and uh, lift the mechanism out next. Another thing I've discovered in the fitting process is that these top dampers you see here uh, get in the way of my frame and I thought about cutting a notch out of the frame but it's going to make more sense uh, to just unscrew those. There's a screw on the top of each one that allows those to be taken out easily. That's going to be the simple answer for now. So I found out with these top dampers these screws are just kind of set screws that hold the wires in and the best method is to uh, loosen those a little bit and then pull them out from the side maybe with a little rocking motion. Try not to put any sideways force on the damper itself. So this one's loose. I just pull it out from the side there and this is ready to go into the frame now. Well, here it is in the frame. Lucy's helping me inspect that. Looks like it's 
basically working. I think I'm going to put some feet under each end, another 2x4 piece to kind of give it more clearance. One thing that Lucy and I are finding is that, uh, you know, the hammers hit here. So that could possibly be cut out further. Um, I have to think about whether that's worth it or not. I've decided to go ahead with uh, reshaping my frame a little bit. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to uh, trim off the bottom, maybe inch or so, probably by removing the ends, running the 2x4 through a uh, table saw, and renailing the ends. So for the time being, I put it back in the piano. It's relatively easy to take in and out, and had a nominal playing. Everything still works. There's a rod here that activates the sustain pedal action that I left out for the moment, but uh, that basically just slips in, is held in by friction and gravity. What do you think, Scooter? Scooter and Lucy have come in to inspect the final result. Here it is. I used a combination of a handsaw and a bandsaw to cut out these notches. Right, Lucy? And I added on these feet. So we're going to do another test fitting and see if that works. If I can get my helpers out of the way. Are you too helpful? Now you know what 2x4 smell like, Lucy. Here it is with the action mounted inside the frame. That's been a success. The frame isn't the most beautiful thing in the world, but it works. In particular, we have clearance for the hammers now. This unit has that old smell about it, which is probably what's got Scooter and Lucy so interested. But I can carry this whole thing down to the workbench and deal with it in my normal work area in the basement. So I think that's a success. So here's the action from the back side as in the interior of the piano we can see some obvious problems here we got missing dampers we've got a dog we don't need we've got most of these dampers are kind of in pretty sad shape really falling apart or coming loose who knows these might even be the original 100 year old dampers so I'm going to be replacing every single one of those you can buy kind of a whole set and uh, aside from the labor of detaching the old ones and gluing on new ones it, it's not a complicated job we've got some that have some other issues involving the mechanics like this one isn't returning properly maybe due to a spring issue this piece in the bottom doesn't seem to be interacting like the others do I have to figure that out this one's similar so these are kind of some of my keys that don't damp but have dampers. You can also see on the face of these, these have quite deep grooves in them. So they're pretty worn. Here's one that's half broken. So really that's a pretty good prescription for new dampers. All of the high keys seem to work fine. I may not do anything at all with those except maybe a vacuuming or something so so that's good news I kinda knew that all the major problems were in the base section which is on this side now Get my 
helpers are back. Guys, want to help me wrap this up? Well, that ends our video for today. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye. <laughs>